Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how I make stuff. Bell peppers. Um, I got my rice here. And I'm going to put it into the pot. I have a half a cup. And I think I'm going to put four, four of these in here. Four half cups of rice, which is equal to... Oh my god. What? God damn. That thing took so long. Anyway, it's going to be equal to two cups of rice. So. So I'm going to do two cups of rice. So that was two. Because I'm making a lot of bell peppers, so. so that's two cups of rice to four cups of water. I'm high, and I'm gonna let that rice come to a boil. I'm gonna mix it just this once. Some people add butter. I mean, some people add oil. I add butter to my rice because it's just how we, this is how we do it in this house. Butter and some salt. So I have a giant bowl here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to de-shell my sausages. I have so I have hot Italian sausages here and I have sweet Italian. I'm going to be shell the bell pepper in, not the bell pepper. Damn. I'm going to de-shell the sausages in this bowl. So. This is what I'm going to do. Literally just squeeze it all out. and just rips easily so here we go just squeeze it out them hot joints smell good I figured this would add like a certain balance to the bell peppers because the bell peppers have no flavor so I made this one time before and my dad or he does he talks about it all the time I charge you stuff bell peppers and they were popping so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my stuff bell peppers I hope y'all like the new content that I'm putting out on my channel. I mean, well, it's not new content, but it's all the new content that I'm bringing to you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Because I do. I just needed to do something different. Besides, you know, eating videos and shit like that. I had to. I had to. 
trying to switch it up for y'all for the one time. Switch it up for y'all for the one time. And I don't have no gloves. We ran out. So I gotta use my bare hands. But it's good to use your hands because it shows that you love your food. You know, don't ever be afraid to show your food that you love it. Now I'm on to my sweet sausages. Now these are pork sausages, by the way. If I didn't mention that before, because my mom, she does not eat beef. So I had to. Because the last time I made this, I made it with beef. So I had to switch up the recipe so she'd be able to eat it. And I'm like, well, we make spaghetti with pork sausages. Why not make stuffed bell peppers with pork sausages? So you can literally use any meat you want. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef, pork sausages. I like to use pork sausages because they have more flavor. In addition to what I'm gonna add to it. So, you know. Um, so yeah. I can't wait to show y'all how I make your chicken. That's gonna be a good video. That video should be coming soon. Cause I'm craving your chicken. I don't have the ingredients to make the jerk chicken. And this is my last one right here. Well, my last two. So I'm just gonna squeeze it out. And once I'm done with this, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do next. So I'm done squeezing it out. So now I'm gonna combine because I want everybody to taste like the sweet with the spicy pork sausages like it's gonna be lit right, so now I'm going to add my onions these are just basic white onions that I poorly tried to chop up. It's all right. And then I'm gonna add my seasonings. Y'all already know. I don't need to. Have, I don't need to repeat myself. If y'all been, if you've been a foodie for a while, you already know my seasoning. But just in case, if y'all knew. I'm gonna tell y'all my seasonings. I got some adobo. Put that on everything. I got some onion salt. Garlic salt. Ooh. Got some Lowry's. Not a lot. Got some parsley flakes. Can add as much as this as you want. Italian 
got some Italian seasoning here. Throw as much as that as you want in there. Um, some pet body guy. Just for that smoky flavor. And one packet of Sasson. Just one. You don't need a lot. Just one. And then work it in. Work in all that seasoning. Work in the onions. The I got with the onions. And I also got a jar of Goya olives that I'm going to add into it. Drain some of the juices out, not all of it. Just going to add that in here. The whole jar. The whole jar. And then once the rice is done. I'm going to incorporate it all together. So, I'll be back. I'm going to show you what I do next. Now, assuming that you guys can see this pot right here, I'm going to show y'all how I make tomato sauce. So, first, I'm put the fire on medium. And I have this, like, bootleg. My mom was on a budget traditional tomato sauce she don't usually buy this one but like I said she was on a budget and I'm just gonna add that in to my pot now I'm not saying if we use this tomato sauce it's bougie I'm just saying my mom she don't buy it so I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes with oregano and basil and and I'm also going to add And this is for the bottom. This is a goal. This sauce is going to go at the bottom of the pan of the stuffed bell peppers. And it's going to go over the stuffed bell peppers too. So. And y'all see how that paste just thickens up the um, stew? the um tomato sauce that taste is a blessing I'm telling you I'm not gonna put no sugar in it because it seems that the sauce is sweet already so But, of course, you got to add your own little spin. So, I'm going to add come on, adobo. Come on, y'all already know. Y'all already knew this was coming. Onion salt. No, this is garlic salt. You don't want to taste too garlicky. But 
garlic salt. All right, that's it. Gonna mix it all together. Well, we yeah. I usually have onions and um, green peppers in there, but not today. Because the onions and the green pepper is gonna be in the bell pepper, so. Today and I usually have meat in it too. So yeah. That's a maze balls. That's his bad. Mm. The other side I had salt on it. Now, if my sauce actually tastes like that, that would be a bad thing. But the sauce is good. Yeah, the sauce is good. So, I'm going to put a lid over this. Let it simmer. All right, so now, I'm going to... So, here's our pot of water. Um... I got this here because I'm going to put my bell peppers. <clears throat> I'm going to put my bell peppers in there when I'm done cutting them. And I'm going to show you how I do I have four small bell peppers. that I'm going to try to turn into eggs. Which looks like it's not going to work out well for me because they're so small. But anyway. So. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to take. All of that out. See? And then you're gonna be left with the seeds, and the seeds are gonna go in here. When I'm ready, I can just take the seeds out. So. Cause if anything, I'll just. So now we're back to my concoction with the olives. So now I'm going to add the rice to everything. Be caution. Be caution because the rice is hot. If 
fresh off the stove. So, ooh, that's some fluffy rice. I should show y'all. So this is my rice, look at that. Look how fluffy that rice is. I'm going to add the rice to, I'm not going to add all of it. My nephew can eat the rest of that rice. And I'm going to mix it together because can't do it with my hands because it's too hot and sis ain't trying to burn her hands you know what I mean so I'm going to set my oven to 400 degrees it's already on 400 nah it's on 250 I lied <laughs> I'm gonna mix everything together. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Alright, it's warm. Let's just hand mix it. Cause it's nothing like your hands, man, you know? It's nothing like your hands, man. Cause your meat cool down your rice so yep there you go them sausages with that onion and the olives and the rice Woo! it's gonna be slamming show y'all what's next my last well second to last step after after this part so now here's an aluminum pan and what you're gonna what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the tomato sauce that you made yes and you're gonna put it at the bottom of the pan. It's like you're creating a bed for the um for the bell peppers. So create that bed like that. That tomato sauce look good, right? And then what you're gonna do is take your bell pepper and take your mixture and then stuff it into the bell pepper. And it's okay if some of the mixture got out onto the pan, it's cool. So, once again, you take your bell pepper, because I did it up there so you couldn't see it. And then you take your mixture, and then you fill it in. And that's pretty much all you do. So once again, you take your mixture, you plop it in there, and that's it. 
One more time. Put them one more time. You put it in there. You take your mixture. And you. Boom. Boom. That's it. And I have a lot here, so I'm going to have extra. So what you do now is you take the the last you take some more of this sauce that you created and you just put that on top. You can also put cheese on top, but I don't got no cheese. that in your 400 degree oven 